Yesterday, I brought you a big story about Sofian Amrabat. United had gone ahead to obviously propose a loan bid for Fiorentina through intermediaries, but it was blocked by Fiorentina, and they say all what we want is for you to obviously make an official bid for the Moroccan international known as Sofian Amrabat. Welcome to United Matters channel. I here come with a very huge update about Sofian Amrabat too. Manchester United being brought to us by Fabrizio Romano. It's all about Man United preparing an official bid for Sofian Amrabat. So smash like button, comment and share. If you're waiting, if you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. This is exactly what you guys were waiting in for. Big story. And it should see us really get some good subscribers on this channel to take us to the next level where we deserve to be onto this channel. So Rock and David is my name. We thank God for the gift of life. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. My Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Laufikum, and let's set the pace. Now, all is well for the club of Manchester United, looking like they are trying to find a solution to get into the signing of the player known as Sofian Amra, but because to me I call it the missing piece in the jigsaw of Eric Ten Hag to take us to where we deserve to be this season. The moment you see Sofian Amra, but holding that shirt of Man United, I'll come here and tell you that we can now be among the big boys of the season because he is going to add more to the team. Now, Carabao Cup fixture has been drawn the third round. I'm going to let you know who are we facing. That is on the 26th of Thursday. And we're going to discuss more about another academy graduate from Man United living on a permanent deal. United are anxiously wanting some money in from those cells. So, we are left with two days to end the transfer window. Today is 31st and tomorrow is first, meaning that tomorrow is going to be the deadline day. Meaning that things are supposed to be done swiftly if at all you are to get in Sofia and Amrabat before the end of the deadline day. Now, we've been told by Fabrizio Romano that Man United preparing for more bid for Sofia and Amrabat. Always been top target. No loan proposal sent to Fiorentina. Just informal talks. Fiorentina could be open to loan with an obligation to buy based on conditions. Now, Fabrizio Romano has gone ahead and turned down the story that David Austin put out yesterday that a loan bid of United was put in. Now, according to the situation, I was so much surprised that we wanted to ask for a loan of Sofian Amrabat, right? With a bid of two million pounds, and we are willing to pay them in bids of one million pounds. That was really, 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 really silly and stupid. If you watched my video yesterday night, I came out and obviously slated or slugged off everything that <laughs> was concerning the loan transfer window because I thought that that loan was stupid. And if at all it was true, I called for the sucking of the board of these people at Manunet because it doesn't make any sense. You know, how can you come out knowing that you want to sign Sofia Hamrabat? A deal has been lagging for two months and you call in for just a loan. Yet Fiorentina has been audible that they want to sell this player for some good amount of money. You get? So, good thing is that Ten Hag has gone ahead to convince the player and the player has gone ahead to reject very many moves. Liverpool, offer was rejected. Galatasaray offer was rejected, Napoli's offer was rejected, uh, West Ham's offer was rejected, Juventus' offer was rejected in the name of coming to Old Trafford. And even yesterday, Fiorentina <coughs> reached an agreement with Nottingham Forest for £17 million to sign Sofian Amrabat. And Sofian Amrabat rejected the offer, meaning that he's only and only wanting to come to Man United and the United have gone ahead to convince him that everything is going to go on as planned. To see to it that he gets the best from the club of Manchester United. That is Sofian Amrabat for you. And is doing the best to come to Man United. And United are trying to reciprocate the love. And how are they doing it? They are trying to obviously put in what we call an official offer 
for the player known as Sofian Amrabat to come from Fiorentina to join Manchester United. If there is any player that I'm dying for United to sign, it's none other than this guy. I know what he means and what he brings. The fears of United going in for Kikurela, I think that is one of those things I just afraid of, but I think we can thrive better even without Kikurela. But without Sofian Amrabat, trust me, we are going to be a little bit weak in the midfield. You know, we are playing Arsenal over the weekend, <laughs> but if I can see him registered on Friday night, that is tomorrow, I would obviously see him train with Man United on Saturday and put him in the squad that is going to play against Arsenal on Sunday. Because with Arsenal playing Man United, I anticipate that Mikel Ateta is going to call in for Declan Rice, Thomas Partey, double pivot. You know? That is really so much heavy for Ericsson and Casemiro, meaning that I can even start Sofian Amra, but because Ten Hag has shown us that it's going to hate to be doing this of starting players. Anthony, his debut, he had trained with United for just some days, I think 30 days or two, because his move was done on Wednesday and we had to play Arsenal on Saturday, and on Wednesday we had to play a game against Leicester City. He was registered on Friday. On Saturday, he played a game and scored. So, going to Arsenal with Ericsson and Casemiro is really going to be so much worrisome for me as a, as a fan of Man United. And if I also fear an Amra but comes in throw, I can even start him into that game because he's really fit and they've gone ahead to put him out of the team of Fiorentina that played, that's going to play today against Rapid Vienna in the conference league so we wait and see how that pans out but united are preparing an official bid for sofian amrabat to fiorentina and i think that is going to arrive today because united need to see him arrive in the night at the manchester airport do undergo a medical then tomorrow we see him registered as a player of Manchester United. i know this is all being done to see to it that united gets this player in now as United are looking to collect in some money, <laughs> guess who they've gone ahead to put on the market? Tengi Mengi, one of the prospects from the academy that has gone ahead to obviously not, have, not be lucky because of the injuries. And Fabrizio Romano confirmed us that Luton Town are set to sign Tengi Mengi from Man United. Deal agreed as per Ryan Sport reported. Permanent transfer for Mengi who is set to undergo medical tests soon. Now, United... I think I've been having offers and interests coming in from different teams to sign the academy players, especially into the Premier League. And in the due, in the due time, they're looking for money to sign Sofian Amrabat. So with Tengi Mengi, I think they can get in some three or four or five million pounds from Ruton Town to sign this lad. He was one of those I really looked at and I understood that obviously this guy is going to be one of the best in the land. But guess what? Things never transpired as opposed to transpire, and the lad found himself really getting injured. When Ten Hag came in through, he was one of the young graduates from the academy that I thought would be given a chance because he's a press resistant player. He's tailor made for the Premier League because of his physicality, but things never went on as planned. So, as it looks, Tengi Mengi looks like he's going to obviously leave the club of Man United and they're going to sign him on a permanent basis. If you can get like five or six million pounds from him, then that will be something good, better to boost this purchase of Sofian Amrabat. And trust me, United is doing everything to see to it that they don't bleach the financial fair play rules to get in Sofian Amrabat. And this team is calling in for a permanent purchase. And 21 million pounds can be really looked out at. That is it. And in favor of the team we can obviously see ourselves selling a donovan being to teams like Galatasaray for like 15 20 million pounds that is it you call in for 10 million pounds right and 11 million pounds of add-ons like if i totally play such and such a number of games um scores goals like this you know because Donny van de Beek is a talent and trust me when he goes to Galatasaray that's playing the Champions League he's obviously <coughs> going to thrive that side that is it so I really believe 
Tengi Mengi is living because of that. We need to get him money. And I think at the age of 2021 that he has, he needs to be playing game in, game out. He was loaned to Birmingham last summer and his loan spell was cut short because of the injuries he got. We turned to Manchester United and it's good to see to it that Luton Town is interested into this lad to come to Man United. Another story coming in from Fabrizio Romano and that is one of the things that I really see us going through. And now, as I sum up our first video of the day, I'll help me bring you this story of the Carabao Cup tie. Now, confirmed, the Carabao Cup tie draw was obviously held yesterday night and it threw us to one team known as Crystal Palace. And it's going to be played on the 26th of September 2023. And it looks like the lack of last season is still with us because we are playing this game at home. Right, at home. And now, you just get to know that it's going to be played on the 26th. I think that is a Thursday. So, you need Sofian Amrabat to play into that midfield and obviously rest Casemiro <coughs> for a little bit. Because last season, Casemiro was played in every game. He was played in every game. If he never played 90 minutes, he played 45. He never played 90, he played like 30. That is Casemiro. You wouldn't like to see one of your best players played in such games. And with Champions League returning, you would love to see Casemiro played a lot in Champions League game and Premier League games. And these other games, we need to see Sofian Amrabat coming in through and taking over <coughs> the club. So, we wait and see whether they are going to knock out Crystal Palace. But there are some other serious draws that are going to hate to take place for us and teams like Man City are in. And um, when you look at teams like Chelsea, they're also in. So the FL Cup is loading to see to it that it serves us with the best of fixtures. Arsenal has been drawn against Brentford. That is it. And um, the third round has Newcastle playing against Man City. Huge fixture. Liverpool, Leicester City, Black Rover, Blackburn Rovers, Cardiff, Chelsea are going to play Brighton. Huge, huge fixture to watch. Um, and almost all of them are going to be played on the 26th. Arsenal playing Brentford. Aston Villa playing Everton. Fulham are playing Norwich. So it shows you that at least for us, we're going to have to get some easy fixture because the ties of Newcastle versus Man City are really hard. So we are the defending champions. And you're working to see to it that we obviously find ourselves in the ilk of obviously winning and taking this home to where it deserves to be at a club of Manchester United. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Rock and David is my name. I call upon for your reactions on to United preparing the official bid for Sofia and Ambra. But in the comment section below, Fabrizio Romano is going to hit to downpour what David Austin told us. That alone had been made by Manchester United. That is the loan bid. Do you think... Fabricio is right or all David Austin is wrong. What do you make about Tenge Mengi being sold to Newton Town for United to obviously get in more money and in favor of him to get enough playing time? I think the sell on clause is going to be included because I believe Tenge Mengi, if he was in on Luton Town, he would have gone ahead to get in some good amount of money. And lastly, what do you make about the Carabao Cup draw against Crystal Palace? Do you think we are going to go past them? And do you think we are going to defend our Carabao Cup this season? All that and more into the comment section below. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. My Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Laufikum. And I sign out. See you later in the next two, three hours to come. But the Champions League draw is on tonight. And we're going to be streaming live on this channel, bringing you what the draw is going to be like from where the draw is going to be held by the UEFA. I'm out.